Our honorees tonight are former Fulbright Fellows selected to receive this award for their distinguished careers and their cultural, civic, and educational contributions. By celebrating their lives, we also celebrate the Fulbright Program for deepening international understanding, for developing leaders throughout the world in the arts and in other fields, and for bringing our world closer together. Thank you to Renee Fleming, Milton Glaser, and John Lithgow. Tonight, we honor three exceptional artists. As we pay tribute to their accomplishments, let's remember one important detail. At a formative stage in their career, all were named Fulbright Scholars. Please join me in celebrating Renee Fleming, Milton Glaser, and John Lithgow, and the role that Fulbright has played in shaping their remarkable lives and careers. I'm reminded just how much a Fulbright experience should be cherished. It's the human connection across geographical and language barriers that's even more important today, especially now that the world I grew up in seems to be changing at a rate that is truly difficult to grasp. Senator Fulbright and those who established this opportunity for the sharing of education and culture had more foresight than they could have known. As more hours of our lives are dominated by technology, may we desire and seek face-to-face -face experience with each other and in art. Having had a full 20 years to grow and develop as a performer, I will devote at least some of my energy now to arts education and appreciation. Thank you so much for this tremendous honor, and thank you so much for the work you do fostering authentic human connections. A day hardly passes that I don't think in some way of the extraordinary stroke of good luck I had as a young man. It was one that enriched and transformed my life forever. I received the Fulbright in the early 50s, and it took me to Bologna, that fat, voluptuous, and generous town <laughs> whose artwork, women, and food <laughs> are unlike any other place on earth. Of course, one could say the same thing of the Bronx, But, but the details would vary significantly. <laughs> I studied there with Giorgio Morandi, arguably Italy's most significant painter of the 20th century. It was Morandi who taught me the most important thing about teaching. It's not what the teacher says, it's what he is that matters. Thank you all so much. I'm deeply honored by this, but I feel that it's more than enough. I felt honored for the last 40 plus years simply by being called a Fulbright Scholar ever since 1967 when the Fulbright Commission sent me over to London to study for uh, two years, as it turned out, at Lambda, the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. Uh, a fantastic experience where a team of brilliant and eccentric teachers tore me down and built me back up, gave me lessons in voice and diction and stage movement and historical dance and choral singing and fencing and fighting and tumbling and basically turned me into the actor that I have been ever since. I don't recall using the word please when I applied for Fulbright, 
But all these years later, I'm so glad to have such a splendid occasion to have the opportunity to say thank you. Thank you.